Well, hello there and welcome back to my channel. I'm Claire Jefford, business coach, and today I'm sharing with you what's inside my client folders. Yes, it's kind of bulging. <laughs> and, uh, I'm gonna give you all the information though. How do I organize them? What goes in them? What are the different files that I have? Where do I keep some of their samples? Stay tuned for that, that's coming right up. But before we do, make sure you subscribe to my channel, hit the bell below, and you'll be notified every time I publish a new video. And if you wanna get your hand on some of my free resources, I have a lot of helpful free resources on my website. I'm gonna put links in the description below. My most popular is the Design Services and Rates Guide with Walkthrough Video, so make sure you don't miss that. It'll help you understand the best way that you can offer your services and what to charge for them. Today we're looking at the physical file folder. Yes, I do have a system where I have everything logged so my team and I can access the items, the digital items, downloads, contracts, photos, all of that good stuff. But I'm going to show you my physical folder. Maybe you're old school, maybe you're not as old school as I am and perhaps you just have your tablet that you walk around with. But I still like to have something tangible, something I can look at on site if I need to, grab it quickly. Uh, so this is how I organize my client folders. Now, I wish I had one to show you that was brand new, but I don't because we've been, we're using all of ours. I'm just covering up my client's name here to protect their privacy. But this is a blue folder. I'll put the name here below, uh, what it is and where you can get it, if they're still available. I've had these for quite some time now. And uh, what's nice about it is that as you open it up, we've got a little pocket on the right side. Um, and we've also got uh, an area where you can house all of the files. So this could probably give you a better look. So this is where I carry some of the samples, if I can, of fabrics. Um, there's a little piece of hardwood in there. I think there's some wallpaper as well. And then it's got this flap here, which I really like because that's where I put in these other folders. Now, essentially, these are similar to this here, okay? This here, which is, uh, you know, five different project pockets and uh, all come in different colors, so you can get that. That was from my local company here, but I'm sure you can order these online if you wish. All right, so within the large blue folder, I have this here. This is a clear folder. I'll put the name of that here in the video, and uh, if it's still available, I'll add links below in the comments and the description, so make sure you check that out. And just covering up again my clients' names here to protect their privacy, but this is great because this is, again, it's housing all of the folders that we use that I'm gonna go through and show you right now, and then they sit within the pocket of the blue folder. So it's really nice, very easy. I love the setup. Within each one, there's actually five folders. I'm gonna show you what the fifth one's for and where I keep that, don't you worry. Uh, but first, I just wanna take you through each of these. So they're all color-coded, and we've got each one labeled specifically, so I'm gonna take you through that right now. So the first one here, this is for any product specifications that we've done for the client, any quotes that we have from our GC, and any PowerPoint documents that we've done for them, such as 3D designs or a mood board, if that's usually all included in our full service package. Another one that we include is this one here that has the measurements, floor plans, and dimensions. So any plans that I need to hand, any drawings that maybe my cabinet maker has done, then we leave that here. Any initial drawings that we do with those first drawings that we take at a client's home on the graph paper, that all lives within this folder. The pink one we use for client info, as well as any correspondence, if I print off a specific email that maybe I sent with a lot of information that I wanted to make sure I had documented and printed off somewhere. And then we also include contracts in this one as well. Green is for the money. So this is for any invoices that we've sent to our clients for products that we've sold or for our services. That stays in the green folder. Having the different colors makes it easy. We color code things and we know exactly which folder the items are in that we need to have to hand. So if I need to ask any of my team members, I say, oh, go grab their invoice. And they know that they're gonna find that in the green folder. Love being organized. All right, and then we also have this yellow folder. Now yellow, no offense against yellow, but it's one of my least favorite colors, uh, especially in the folders. It just didn't seem to gel with all the other colors. It really stood out. So what I actually do with the yellow folder is I keep this one in my office, this houses all of the invoices, receipts that we've received from our trades or vendors. So this one never leaves my office. Don't make the mistake of adding it in your main folder and maybe what if you leave that folder one time at a client's house? Yes, I've done that before. And I know that we like to take a peek, so I'm gonna show you now what do I have in here. I'm gonna show you this inside. This is a client project who are actually installing this week. So here's what the folder looks like otherwise. Okay, it's empty, right? As I said, this, they've had some good use out of them. I could get some new ones. So I have a little flooring sample of her of her hardwood, and then I've got um, 
fabric samples in here. So again, I can just really grab them quite easily if we need them, especially on install day. We want to make sure everything arrives as it should be. We know exactly what's going where. And then I also give memos to clients afterwards. So um, just really nice to have everything to hand. But if the binder isn't big enough, because I know it may not be, you might think, Claire, I need something way bigger. So I love my JF fabric trays that I've got here. These are uh, acrylic trays. And so this is a little bit bigger. And so in here, now this is another a different client project that we're working on. And I've got all of the fabrics that we looked at, everything that we're considering, what rooms are for. I've got paint chips in here. So everything is in this one box that I can bring. It doesn't have a lid, uh, you know, but so you might want something with a lid, but you're gonna maybe need something, especially if you have maybe little backsplashes or pieces of hardware or something else that you want to put in with all of the client's information and all of their samples. So you decide what's going to work best for you. I want to hear from you. How do you organize your client folders? Comment below and let me know. And remember, I am a business coach. If you need any help with your business, whether it's processes, marketing, social media, think of me, contact me, reach out. Uh, even on Instagram, I'm at Claire Jefford, or you can email us info at ClaireJefford.com. All the best to you. Talk soon. Cheers.